What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to Smart Undertale. Last episode, we pretty much saved the world. And it's great. So I'm gonna save again. Um, we broke the barrier. We saved Flowey, we saved everybody, and it's amazing. It's so happy. Everything's so happy. Everybody, ah! <laughs> Uh, so the last thing my notes tells me to do is make my way back to the beginning and talk, try to talk to everybody I see on the way. So we're gonna try doing that. So let us do that. This, I don't, I don't even. I guess I mean, it does say the ending is at the beginning of the game. Okay, I don't think we're gonna see anyone here. So let's go down. Let's go downtown, downtown, and then early your rounds. Is this gonna be the music for the entire game? I wonder. I mean, there was no music here, and now there's music, and it's, everything's so happy. Hope some of the places keep their music though, like snowed in. The waterfall is pretty cool too. So I guess I could have maybe met you guys back at like a village or something. But I wasn't sure if we'd maybe see monsters here as well. Not seeing anything though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know if you'd see Metaton anywhere. Determination. Corrend. Correndo! Hmm. It's gonna be hard to find everybody, to be honest, though. What do you say now, ma'am? Sorry, we aren't allowing any more guests at this time, or ever again. <laughs> um, are you guys on your way out? Guess I'll catch up with you later. That's all I'm overjoyed. Good news! The elevator started working yet, but now it's been so busy, we still haven't gotten a chance to ride it. Okay, elevators and ease. Ah, you silly game. Uh, Metaton at it last week. Okay. Sorry, resort's shutting down, but I think you'll find it still great to pass through. <laughs> Probably. Club Lob. I can live life without reservations. So, if we are leaving with my job, uh, I guess I got I, And I just got a raise. Well, I guess every apple has its core, hee <laughs> hee. Surface world, really? We won't be able to get two feet without running into a puzzle. <laughs> There's even vines in here, freaking flowy. Oh, we're all free? Oh, guess I can stop licking this ficus. But I don't want to look like I messed up, so I'll keep going. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's go. Maybe I wonder if even like the people in the doors will say different things. I really want to see what the octopus guy says too, you know? Don't you know? Because I'm talking about the octopus that was in like the Echo Flower Chamber room places. No response. It's locked from the inside. No response. No response. Trying to finish up work. <laughs> Go. Oh, I just understood an animation joke now. Whenever he turns around, he drips stuff on the floor and he has to clean it up. So he's never going to finish because it's never going to be over. It's uh. I wonder if even the store keepers will say stuff. Oh, the turtle guy should say different things. Freedom! So, like, we're, like, totally free now. Yeah, like, totally free. Like, cool. Yeah, like, cool. Like, millennia of being in prison finally over. Yeah, that's pretty chill, I guess. I'm a human. Oh, oops, really? Uh, well, we said, um, we were hyped for this destruction of humanity. We were just, like, joking, you know? Did we say that? Probably? It's like practically our catchphrase. Really? I thought our catchphrase was B -b -b Braddy's the best, Caddy's the coolest. Um, no. We're like literally never said that. <laughs> can it be though? Can it be? Oh my god. Feature. Now that we're gonna be free, OMG, we can finally fulfill our dream of having a pet cat. That's like your dream, Caddy? But Braddy, I don't wanna have a dream without you in it. Aw, Caddy, and in my dream, you clean up after the cat. Caddy! Oh, you silly. Do you like cats? <laughs> Me? Yeah. Yeah, I love cats. They're like so tasty. They're like so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> Braddy, no! I'm just kidding. Kind of. <laughs> anyway, that was the last time you even saw a cat around here. Oh, just the other day. There was this cute little white cat walking around. It was like so clueless looking. I pet it for like an hour. Catty. Yeah, Braddy? I think that was like a dog. Dogs are just firm cats. <laughs> All right, let's head out. Well, that takes care of the hotel. I don't know if I should talk to everybody or not. So excited to sell a nice cream on the surface. Well, humans are like you. I think it'll be a modest success. 
My dying told us that the Royal Guard is being disbanded. Like, bummer, guess we'll have to get used to love and peace. He seems happy. Oh, that guy's just always happy, isn't he? What? Do you want a rematch? <laughs> Alright, let's go... Uh, left floor one. I guess this will be the chatty episode. So if you guys are watching this, like, five minutes in, it's like a 40-minute episode. Feel free to... Well... Just stop watching. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or skip to the end when I talk to everybody. Okay, 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 okay. I'll be able to have a nice drink on the surface. If there's anyone here now. No, there's not. Okay, whatever. Do 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 do. I don't know why I'm going here unless Metatons in here for some reason. I keep expecting to see him like um, in the wall, back in the wall, just kind of hanging out. Maybe we'll be upstairs. Should I go and let's kind of go in this now? No, I can't. Huh? Interesting. Broken? No, that was like that, right? I think so. Alright. Metaton just gone, apparently. Alright. That's kind of sad, to be honest with ya. Well, I guess that's really it for all. I mean, I could go find those schoolgirls we saw forever ago when we were trying to get in here, but. Here they go today. Snowden. And we're off. Oh, we should. Actually, we should go to Waterfall first, shouldn't we? Because we need to make our way back to the beginning of the game, regardless. Tra la la, remember to take a break every so often. Nah, brah. I don't wanna. Come again sometime. Okay, let's do yeah. No, oh, yeah, okay, I did. I uh, just spam clicking to that and I ended up clicking on the right one. Good. Good, good, good. Pet, pet, pet. The next stretch is indefinitely into the cosmos. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. Oh, you know what? Actually, that was a reference. If we kept petting dog, that was like a snow puff. And then we met another dog. I'm getting some time. Yeah, I'm kind of sad this music's apparently sticking around forever. Is there anything this way? Oh, should I go to Temi Village? I don't know if I want to go that far on my way. I mean, what could they possibly say? I know this turtle is going to have something different to say. Fluffy buns, why? Okay, okay, I remember it clearly now. I was monthly address at the castle, and the queen was giving her part in the current events. After finishing her, her update, she moved to pass the microphone to the king. However, she didn't realize the microphone was still in her hands when she said, Your turn, Fluffy Buns. Yawns burst into laughter. Realizing what she had said, she started laughing too. After a few moments, the king held up his arms. Crowd grew silent. He leaned towards the microphone, expression stern. Dear citizens, thank you for coming here today. I, King Fluffy Buns, and the rest is history. Oh, that's awesome. Is Asgore a goat? Eh? Goat? Actually, that reminds me, Toriel, Toriel once wore a flower that patterned Moo Moo. Folks kept saying nice Moo Moo to her, but she kept thinking they were calling her a cow. She never wore it again. <laughs> what was the question again? Oh, right. Asgore. He's a real interesting type of monster. He's the strongest type of all. We call them boss monsters. When they have an offspring, the soul of power of parents flows into their child, causing the child to grow up as to grow as the parent ages, parents age. But Asgore doesn't have a child, so he's stuck at the same age, probably will be forever. Huh? But what if the child is a human? What? Nah, that won't work. So if Asgore is your father, he'll definitely outlive you. Uh, Asgore and Teriel. Oh well, yeah, of course, Teriel was queen and Asgore was the king. It was tragic when she left. Since everyone knew she was really the brains behind the throne, but it was also just a teensy teensy bit relieving, you know? Those two are really insufferable together, nuzzling noses, being all cute and cuddly in public, embarrassing their children. They were so, uh, they were so sweet. It made me sick. Thank God those days are over. Undyne, Undyne, she's really come a long way since she was a little urchin. I used to be a hero myself back in the old days. Uh, curse on the hammer of justice. When she was younger, Undyne would follow me around, watch me beat up bad guys. Sometimes she'd even try to help. Although most of the time, the folks attacked weren't bad guys, it'd just be a male man or something like that. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate it. Ha ha ha! Alright, let's go see the Dosts. Hey, are the Dosts Dawn? Dosts Dawn? Why Dosts Dawn? Where did they go? Did they move on? 
This is money, snowball, a hat. <laughs> the housing market will probably crash now, but you know, home is where the heart is. Snail, 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 you reached the end of your extent, tent of journey. Snail, snail, what a long trip. Remember to stretch your muscles. It's a snail. You wonder if Toriel had seen it. Probably. Whoa, Metaton! There you are, Frisk darling. Feast your eyes, Dr. Elfie's completed my wonderful new body. Oh, and did you hear? The barrier's open. I can't wait to see the sun. The greatest sub spotlight of all. Oh yes, I suppose I should thank you too, darling. Before fighting you, I had forgotten how fun it was to perform with others. So I've been searching for hot talents to fill my upcoming trope. So far, Sharon's agreed to be my backup singer. And Matt's the block here will be my sound mixer. The three of us performing together? It really feel feels overdue, doesn't it? Okay, so that does conclude the whole theory that this was Metaton's old house. Cool. So I was gonna say, it's weird that he's here, but I was like, oh, that makes a lot, or she, I don't know. Oh, Metaton, I'm a huge fan. Oh, hi, human. I'm, I'll never forget when you cheered me on. I was pretending to sleep. No one ever done so much, had so much faith in my fake sleep. Uh, also, this is awkward, but what's your name? Everyone seems to know it by now, except me. It seems like I've been only missing out lately. I'm just sitting at home listening to tunes. There's a flash of light outside my window. I saw the snails in the farm disappear. Then I heard a knock on the door. The flash of light wanted to come in. I closed the blinds. Now everyone knows your name except for me. Frisk. Okay, I won't forget it. All this music's gone. Hey, did you say anything else now? Your name? Frisk. I didn't forget. Because I cried the, cried the letters into my head. Hello, well. It's like only fire looks here now. So you helped us all get free. I guess I really acted like a dummy to you. Mm hmm. I think this, this little bird wants to. Okay, sure, why not? I'm pretty sure this bird just takes me to. Uh, or this little path here will lead me back to um, Snowden, right? I hope. I really hope. Go, little bird, go, little bird, go! Go, little bird, go, little bird, go! Duck is so satisfied with life right now. Yay! Goodbye, little ducky. Oh, this guy. I would have forgotten about this guy. You can go see the real stars now, but I still don't know what those are. <laughs> Oops, I, didn't, I don't care about that. What is this? I forget what this is. Ah, this is the, uh, the ice cream shop. I was just farther away than I thought it was, probably. I was really curious about this mouse, too. Does he finally have the courage? Has freed some of the cheese from the crystal somehow. Knowing the mouse might one day extract cheese. Okay. Squeak. How far is it? <gasps> what is this guy? Three gold for the fairy. Hop on! Okay, I see. I want to see Squid Guy. Thanks for stepping on my face. Here's your gold. <laughs> That's so funny how everything gives you gold back in this game. Oh, I really want to see the Squid Monster. Can we do that, I wonder? I don't know where that is exactly, which is unfortunate. Hopefully it's on this path here. I really hope it is, because that Squid Guy was amazing. You guys know what I'm talking about? The Octopus Man? Where we met on dying for the first time. I think. Yeah, yeah, it's not pushing me, butthole. Okay, I don't think there's anything that way. I think we missed it. Crap. There's an echo fire. He's lost thing over and over. That guy says the same thing. Hmm. Bloop, bloop. Okay, we apparently missed it, but I don't care. I'm going back for that. I need to see what that guy says now. He definitely says something different. I'll just do it eventually. It's locked from the inside. Oh, don't want to go in there. Oh, there's not going to be anyone. <gasps> what if we go in uh, his room now? Oh, not there. Did the music just change? Did the music just change? Oh, no, it didn't. It's just starting over. The door's locked. Dang it, I thought maybe we'd leave his door unlocked. 
I'm nosy, okay? I want to see what's in Sans' house. Hey, everyone's outside now. Having an amorphous, shambling family member is great. They're always moving, so I see them 100% of the time. <laughs> All our parents have one combined. All of our parents have been combined into one horrible being. That's okay, though. It's really brought our families together. Oh my god, still. <laughs> <laughs> now that our parents are the same entity, does that mean I'm married to my sister? Wait, we're, we're dogs, that stuff's normal. <laughs> the library. The library is the last day, it'll be open, so make as much noise as you want. Oh my, there's so much news report, I don't know where to begin. How about the headline, monsters go free from the underground? Nah, that doesn't have enough pizzazz. How about top 10 monsters you won't believe got free from the underground? Wow, what is this? Freaking Buzzfeed or something? Great struggle of my life is over. I yourself today's Junior Jumble. Yay, Junior Jumble! This will be our newspaper last issue. Why don't we just put the end at the front of it and call it a day? Uh, there's one of these here that wasn't finished. Because they're made out of magic monsters. Uh, monsters, we can cooler. Here I am, writing this book. Person comes in, picks up the book, they start reading it. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. What? You didn't finish your book? Freaking unfinished... Um... Things. You know? Unfinished storylines. I can play monsters and humans with real humans! <laughs> hmm. Humans play monsters and humans. Did they just call it humans and humans? It seems like this is the beginning of a brand new boundless world. Waha! This, is this adventurous spirit. It's like I'm a kid again. My children are like double children. <laughs> ah, what a beautiful knock. Oh, what? You're not excited about the real world, sir? <gasps> You're here now. Ice Wolf no longer has to throw ice. Ice Wolf could take break to buy some pants now. <laughs> oh, oh. Ice Wolf thinking of changing their name to Jimmy Hot Pants. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> Oh, we're free? Finally, I'll be able to stop smiling. Looks like I don't have to worry about cracking jokes anymore. I was going to say a joke here, but I really don't have one. Okay, I'm going to go find Octopus Monster, because I think the game ends when you get back to the beginning. Or something. So, I'm going to be right back, I guess. I don't actually wish we would be faster. Uh, I guess we'll go backwards from Waterfall. Alright, see you guys in a second. I heard spiders have a favorite food, it's spiders. Hey! Uh, well, I actually end up coming back to Temi Village anyways. Whoa, Tim her news, very good! Whoa, Tim here good news, very good! Yeah, yeah, Tim's can go free! A pleasing in development, no? <laughs> Whoa, if Tim's can go on surface, can see! Lots of cute, cute, hunnan! Everyone's go free, but Tim, Tim not live. Tim, watch egg. Tim will be happily family. It's hard boiled. <laughs> Hoives. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Mushroom dance, mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? It symbolizes my unbridled happiness. The government told me they are willing to transplant me outside. Why don't? Why didn't you smile at my dance? It almost feels a little rude. So happy. She's waiting for someone to let her out. Aww. Such a Tim. Very famous. Very. Hey, welcome to the Tim shop. Ahoy, I'm Timmy. Say hello. Hoy, I'm Timmy. But yourself. Hoy, I'm Timmy. Us Tims have deep your street. What shop? Yeah, yeah, go to Tim shop. Alright. Well, back to looking for an octopus. Whoa! What is this? Don't shake your dirty feet in here, I just cleaned this trash. Whoa, who's this guy? Yeah, who are you, Freedom? What? Bah! You're pulling my leg. I don't remember who that guy is. He looks like a Goomba, though. It's a box, presumably to be pushed. I don't remember what this is, either. <gasps> no, we missed it! I'm so confused. Okay, I'm back. I finally found Onion Sand. Here we go. Can I talk to you, buddy? No. Hopefully you'll talk to me, right? I've been wondering when we'll all be free. Since if we did, what would I ever know? Well, 
I'll keep my tentacles out for you. You hear? As soon as I know, I'll be the first to tell you. You hear? Oh no, we can't tell him? But he's so nice. <gasps> I can't tell him he's free? Whoa. It's good to be with my sister again. Aww. That's sad. Can I talk to her? Oh, she's just floating for some reason. Okay. What about... Okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, it is worth a try, you know. Alright, well, unfortunately, Onion Sand didn't really seem to save very much. Is anyone in here? No. So, I guess, next stop... Can I really not talk to her? Why not? Rude. Onion Sand, there's nothing else you have for me, buddy. Aww, there he is. It's gonna be any day now. He's so happy. I just want him. To, I just want him to know he's free. But freaking Frisk over here won't tell him. Good lord. They say the same thing. Let's double check here. It's gonna be any day now. Aww. See, I was trying to figure out where he was. But um. And I saw a comment, someone saying that he asks about a band or something. Well, that was kind of a waste of time. I seriously wasted like 30 minutes trying to find this guy. And he gave me nothing! Stupid. Alright, well... A smart man would cut here. But uh, we're right outside of Snowden, believe it or not. It's an interesting looking flower. Weird. So, let's go to Snowden real quick. Talk to everybody there. Actually, we already talked to a handful of people, didn't we? That's right, we did. So we're almost done here, you guys. And we will end the game. Oh no, this is not the right way. Crap. That was a big waste of time. That wasn't it. But big waste of time. Magic. I just want to have random encounters. This world is pretty dang small when you don't have random encounters. Alright, let's head back this way, right? Should I just cut? I'm just gonna cut. Alright, we're back in Stoden. Uh, we pretty much talked to everybody pretty well, right? I'm gonna go with Grillby. There's not gonna be much in here. I will wonder if the overworld has Hawkeyes and need to drink. Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> Soon I'll be able to try some human food. And then I guess I'll try a human bathroom too. <laughs> hey, people won't have to move in from the city anymore. Seems like we won't have to lose our local culture. Except we're all moving out of here, huh? Oh well, guess it can't be all punk peaches and punk cream. It's still broken. Yes, it is. Good job. <laughs> I knew he was gonna talk. I should have called that beforehand. I'm like, wouldn't it be cool if he talked to him and it just turned out he was shy? Wow, a brand new wor world. I thought I said a brand new word. Like, he was shocked that Grillby talked to. Might not be able to translate for Grillby anymore. Which is fine, since I was actually just making up what he was saying. <laughs> in the end, I never caught any girls in my fishing line. So, kid, okay, take it from me. I'll try to catch hot people with a fishing rod. Somewhere, you hear a whine. Winnie of dismay. It's finally won a game of poker against itself? Yay, good puppy. He's so cute. I heard Dr. Elfie's uh, the king and queen. What? I heard Dr. Elfie's told the king and queen all the awful things she'd done. The king felt so bad that he didn't know. He gave her a big hug. Then the queen fired her. <laughs> I don't have a royal scientist anymore. That's politics. Hey, it's you. Yo, what's up? I've been kind of doing some thinking. Maybe Undyne isn't actually as cool as we thought. Maybe she's just kind of mean. But yo, I just found out about someone way cooler. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. It'll be nice to show humans our presence under the tree tradition. They'll probably be weirded out by it. <laughs> Kid over there told me that it's weird that I have a pet bunny. First, there'd be nothing weird about it. It's cute! Second, what? It's normal to walk your younger brother on a leash, right? Wow. Uh... Is anyone else weirded out by the giant sh shambling animal crates, or...? Eh, they're pretty weird, aren't they, sir? Say anything now? Mom says that we could go to the surface world now. What's so great about that anyway? I don't want to move. 
pillow so we're in time for a nap. Snowed in and shutting down so we all go to the surface. Can we go upstairs? Aw, oh, still. We, they have a freaking invisible wall up there. Hello. <laughs> what happens? I mean, it happened to you, right? There was a strange flash of white light, then I felt my body being pulled into something. Then suddenly everything was back to normal. I heard that it was all cause a, cause a human came through here. A human? I could hardly believe it. Well, if they decide to stop in, I'll, I'll be sure to give them a hero's welcome. Did you hear? The ruins have been opened up, and get this. They're open from in the inside. Apparently the queen has been staying in there f for god knows how long. Pretty unbelievable, huh? Future. Well, I suppose I'll move my store to the overworld. I won't plan much more on that, I'm afraid. Cool. We'll have to, you know, let's save right here. So our friendly town fills with determination. Because I'm pretty sure... When, like going back to the beginning of the game finishes it right but what about if you go like through the barrier like you think that finishes a well right are they different endings I don't freaking know right, let's make our way towards the ruins I guess do 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 it's a snow puff. yeah these guys I'm sure will see similar things maybe someone on the service will pay attention to me there's so many people someone has to right Here, real quickly, real quick, like. There's these giant eyes still in the building. There we go. Everyone's leaving, eh? Good riddance. Maybe I'll finally get some peace of quiet. Oh, he's totally Canadian, isn't he? Because he said A. I don't know. It's a door. What? We still can't go in? It's a door. Alright, a woo woo woo. Huh. I turn all these off now. Is that the whole point of this? Just to confuse you? Make it look all mystical and turn out to be absolutely nothing? I mean, there's even, like, the symbol on there for, like, you know, Toriel. Toriel symbol she uses. And, you know, the king as well. King Asgore. King Asgore. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright. I think this isn't as long as I remember it being. Oh, snow. You're so adorable. Oh, never mind. This is just. Hey, there's a snow hat down here as well. Ah, I know how to set myself apart now. An ear piercing. Wait. But that, that will set you apart, unless they all have it. I don't know. We're all free? Okay, okay, I'll stop lodging around. Does that dog know? Oh, he doesn't, does it? Okay, so apparently, if we would have talked to the no, oh, maybe not. Apparently, if we would have done something different here, it seems like the base of a snow dog. If we would have came in here and like there would have been tons of snow dogs everywhere, but we did it wrong, and I'm sorry. Oh well, doesn't matter. Let's cross Papyrus's face, even though it doesn't really look like it. And these guys still look terrifying. Heh, <laughs> he's all below the surface. There was there we could live in, right? This is owl monsters. I don't know. They're scary monsters, what they are, bro. Brosov. Brohan. Broku. Ah, oh, this looks different. Looks like there's less snow there. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna go to the left, right there. Ha! After all this time, you're still thinking about my hat! <laughs> Please? <laughs> it's a plate of lukewarm spaghetti. It seems like something tried eating it ju and just gave up. <laughs> Does it still say the same thing? Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti fills you with determination. Oh no, I shouldn't have saved there. Oh well. Someone, yeah, I knew there was. I'm worried about getting older. I'll just stop being a teen. No, I refuse. I'll just invent new numbers like 20, 20 teen. <laughs> It's at this point I should really just cut, but I'm talking to everybody. <gasps> is this not where- Oh, there's a snowman! Ah, I can feel that piece of me has been well taken care of. Hmm? The barrier's opened. Hmm, well then, if it's not too much to ask, could you take that piece up to the surface? I would really appreciate it. Oh, yeah! I was about to just eat it in front of him. But now I have to not do that. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna... Hey, the... I just realized the bones that were at the beginning of the game are gone as well. There's another morph thing. 
The doctor. She brought my wife back from the dead. My son, he seems happy again. Our family is bigger than ever. Now that my wife has combined with <laughs> 16 other people. Snowy. Oh yeah, that one. Mom might have to make, have to share her mind with other people now, but she's still my mom. And that's cool, because uh, we're made of ice and stuff. What? It's just a joke. Laugh at it. Well, that's sad. That one was a sad. Is this where the fishing pole was? It is. Is there nothing different about this? Such as it now. No, never mind, guys. <laughs> it changed. <laughs> Alright, getting close to the end now. Very close. Oh, I can't go through it. Okay, for a second I thought I was going to be like, Nope, can't go through it anymore. I also figured out that if you um, if you keep Toriel's pie, the only thing that it changes is when you, if you eat it in front of um, King Asgore, his defense and attack lower, instead of having to wait three turns. That's where the camera is. There's a camera hitting me in the bushes. Flowey. Or Flowey would be. <gasps> what if Flowey's over here? That'd be cool. I'm gonna have to make the freaking long walk back up. Ugh. 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 Come on. I was gonna take forever, good lord. That's okay. I'll cut out the walk back, obviously. In fact, I should really be cutting this part too, but we're gonna see things in a second anyway, aren't we? Okay, well, we're upstairs. Oh, everything's so happy. <gasps> we have to go read Toriel's diary. It's gotta say something different now, isn't it? This is my room. Nothing different in there, I don't think, anyways. Read the circle passage? You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest is pages filled. Okay, so it's, everything's the same. Everything has stayed the same. Aha! Let's uh, go over here. Most of the pie is gone. There are dog prints in it. Dog prints? Dog prints? Why dog prints? I'm, I'm confused. <gasps> under renovations. I remember there was a room that was under renovations. They go in there now. Is it this one? No, it's Toriel's room, right? Still? Hmm, maybe that was in case King Asgore decided to come join her or something. Or maybe she was gonna let Sans in. <gasps> dun dun dun! Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. Very strange. What about the spider bake sale? Is that this way? I forget. I thought it was. Rivet, rivet. Seems like the ruins have finally opened up. Maybe we should finally get out and see the rest of the underground. Huh? The berry's open too? Let's just take this one step at a time, okay? <laughs> Sword. Oh, yeah, I did take that knife though. I was gonna say the knife's gone. Yeah, it was already gone. Ah, uh, Toriel built a little area where she, like, overlook her old life. That's sad. I was gonna say it's cute, but it's more sad, isn't it? Switches look like things you could talk to. Oh, if only I could fail that puzzle now, I'll be sent back to the beginning of the room. I'm not gonna fall down. I know what awaits me down there. Nothingness. There we go. Very, very, very yellow names are nice for a while. Next time we should try a relaxing shade of green. <laughs> Did you ever find this room's fourth frog? No. I would say, now that your journey is over, maybe you'll have to try it. You'll listen to me. Since most people just press X to skip through my dialogue. That's right, pressing X. I suppose some things never change. Well, I did do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry! Spider makes it all proceeds to go to real spiders. No, unfortunately not. I thought it was gonna maybe be something different. Where we met Naps the Bluke. Looks like the cheese has a nibble taken out of it. Eee, so happy! Then the mouse might one day leave its hole and, look, get, and get the cheese. But he did! I don't know why I'm saving it for. I shouldn't be doing that. Can I talk to the rock? The exit's open. Guess I better roll out. Hey, do you mind giving me a push, pumpkin? <laughs> the exit's, uh, what? I didn't talk to him, though. 
Oh, I'm just walking into him. Wait, should I actually push him? Oh no. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Oopsies. Forgot about that. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll you know I'm gonna meet you guys back at the very entrance. Here's someone else. Er, excuse me, human. You seem to have grown to a thoughtful, conscientious, courteous person. I, I don't know. But that was for my advice, and I'm quite proud of it. I think up here. Uh, yeah, that's right. I don't want that candy. I'm taking two cans. Let's play of this. Uh, like I said, I never watched anything to the point where it spoiled me. But um, I saw him take too much candy and it spilled the bowl open. Stupid. Stupid. Stupid bowl. Stupid monkey. Here's a dummy. I can't talk to him. Why can't I talk to him? What? Lame. <gasps> no way, it's Flowey! Don't worry about me. Someone has to take care of these flowers. Aww! Go on, flowers. They must have broken your fall. Frisk, please leave me alone. I can't come back. I just can't, okay? I don't want to break their hearts all over again. It's just better if they never see me. Why are you still here? Are you trying to keep me company? Frisk. Hey, let me ask you a question. Frisk, why did you come here? Everyone knows the legend, right? Travelers who climb out a bit are said to disappear. Frisk, why did you ever climb out like that? Was it foolishness? Was it fate? Or was it because you... Well, only, if, only you know the answer, don't you? I don't know why Chris climbed the mountains. It wasn't for a very happy reason either, Frisk. I'll be honest with you. Chris hated humanity. But why they did, they never talked about it. <clears throat> uh, but they felt very strongly about that. Frisk, you really are different from Chris. In fact, though, you have similar uh, fashion choices. <laughs> I don't know why I ever acted like you were the same person. Maybe the truth is, Chris wasn't really the greatest person. Well, Frisk, you're the type of friend I wish I always had. So many... So maybe I was kind of projecting a little bit. Let's be honest, I did some weird stuff as a flower. There's one last thing I feel like I should tell you. Frisk, when Chris and I combined our souls together, control over our body actually split between us. They were the one that picked up their own empty body, and then when we got to the village, they were the one that wanted to, to use our full power. I was the one that resisted that, and then because of me, we... Well, that's why I ended up in flower. Frisk, this whole time, I've blamed myself for that decision. That's why I adopted that horrible view of the world. Kill or be killed. But now, after meeting you, Frisk, I don't regret any that decision anymore. I did the right thing. If I killed those humans, we would have never had to wage war against all of humanity. And in the end, everyone went, went free, right? And I still kind of feel sad knowing how long it took. So maybe it wasn't a perfect decision, but you can't regret your regret hard choices with your whole life, right? Well, not that I have much of a life left, but that's besides the point. Frisk, thank you for listening to me. You should really go be with the friends now, okay? Oh, and please, in the future, if you see me, don't think of, of it as me, okay? I just want to, you to remember me like this. Someone that was your friend for a little while. Oh, and Frisk, be careful in the outside world, okay? Despite what everyone thinks, it's not as nice as it is here. There are a lot of flowies out there. And not everything can be resolved just by being nice, Frisk. Don't... Don't kill and don't be killed, alright? That's the best you can strive for. Well, see you. Frisk. Do you have anything better to do? <laughs> Aw, okay, that was definitely worth the walk. That's so sad. Alright, well, guess time for a really long walk back. I will see you guys in, in a few years. I'm actually pretty sad, though. I thought maybe we are going to be able to take him with us. I thought we could maybe convince him to come. That's really sad. Alright. Okay, I just called Toriel, and I accidentally skipped the first line of dialogue. I went, Dear Frisk, Sans and Elfies are teaching me how to text. I'm learning so much. For example, do you know what a smiley is? Please look at this. <laughs> now turn your head to the left. It's a picture of me smiling at you. Can you see it? LOL, that stands for lots of laughter. Sincerely, Toriel. That's all for now. Maybe in the next room you'll receive another. What about Peppers and I'm dying? No response. The phone might be out of batteries. Oh, they did say that. That's poopy. Okay, let's see if we get more text from her. That's so funny. That's definitely how a mom would, would say too, isn't it? 
Send a message. Dear Frisk, how are you? You have been wandering around for quite some time now. Hope you are not getting into trouble. Only kidding. Lots of laughter. P.S. Do not get into trouble. <laughs> oh, Toriel, she's so adorable. Ah, I can't get over it. Ah. Let's go. We're gonna make our way back now because it is the end of the game. It's time for us to put a close to everything here. What has started must now end. Throw us into a message. Excuse me, I did not mean to write sincerely. I meant to say sincerely. It's difficult to use this with large hands. Perhaps I should ask San to, to transcribe it for me. <laughs> Throw us into a message. Sans will be typing from now on. It's weird how best friends her and uh, Sans are. They almost seem like an item, don't they? Which I hope not. Her and Asgore need to be together forever. You yeah, know. Tra la la. Hmm. I should have worn a few pairs of pants today. <laughs> I gonna miss this guy too. He's cool. The River of Sticks guy. Alright, bye. Have a good life. Come again sometime. Tra la la. I won't be. That's it. Hey, Frisk. It's Toriel. I was baked. <laughs> One million pies, do you want any? Make sure to brush your teeth before crossing the street, Frisk. <laughs> Definitely some Toriel would say, right? Toriel sent you a message. They're not saying any of that. <laughs> uh, north, right? Aha. Toriel sent you a message. Greetings, this is Sans. I love my brother very much. Help, I'm being slandered. <laughs> uh, great. Just an e-message. This is Sans. Frisk, did you know that I love to get owned? I also think Toriel is very good and <laughs> Excuse me. Dot. Please select the location. Alright, let's go up. I wonder if this counts as a new room. Shy. Toriel has not sent any more messages. What about now? Send your message. Title cat video. Inside she meticulously describes a video where she saw a small white animal. There is no link or attachment to watch it. What? What do you want? Rematch? I thought I got through all these messages. Tell us a new message. Forward, send this to someone you care about or a skeleton or our bones at you. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, she's seen chainmail. No, chainmail. Do you have frisk? I thought you might enjoy this. Smiley! It's an ass yard of a snail. Toriel sent you a message. Dear Frisk, Undyne and Peppers want to cook something together with me. Sans is telling me that they are excellent chefs. I am excited. Uh, maybe if you're lucky, you can have some. Oh, she's so mother like it's crazy. Alright, go through here. Toriel sent you a message. Dear Frisk, if Sans and I started a band, do you know what we would call it? Dreamer and Femur, lol. P.S. That is only a joke. Do not refer to me as Dreamer. <laughs> Divorce. Divorce jokes. Toriel sent you a message. Dear Frisk, Dine is very strong. Pepperus made a bet with her that she could not lift everyone here up. She could. <laughs> the only trouble is that she did not know how to put everyone down. <laughs> Let's go in here. Toriel sent you a message. Dear Frisk, Alphys is telling me many interesting facts about the human world. Quite a few of them are wrong, though. Frisk, you did not tell her anything funny, did you? Smiley face. Toto sent you a message. Yeah, Frisk, I heard that you were using the computer for too long is bad for you. However, I've not seen you use the computer at all. It must be very healthy. How nice. Wow, she's such a mother. It's weird. Toto sent you a message. Dear Frisk, I think that I may have to turn off the phone for now. Your friends are all very lovely people. I think... I will spend this time getting to the better. Be good, alright? Sincerely, Toriel. Ah, what perfect timing. I mean, not really. There's a few more rooms to go, but I'll cut out the rest of that. Now, of course, we're in the longest room possible. I was gonna say, let's absolutely make sure. Because, you know, Sans might steal her phone or some crap, right? Toriel has not sent any more messages. And Pepper Sun dying in response to phone bad died. Right, okay, see you guys in a second. Hey, everybody, we're back. Frisk, do not feel left out. I've been writing messages to you as well. You still have my phone number all after all this time, do you not? Oh, out of order things. Sorry, I don't have time to talk, Frisk. I'm supposed to be working right now. But you aren't working! 
I know. And it's taking all my concentration. <laughs> it seems you like really botched your quest, Frisk. But I, the Great Papyrus, will always be your friend. No matter how hard you try to get rid of him. Hey! That's true. <laughs> I always take... Why don't you take a walk around? Frisk, why don't you fly? It's faster. I wish. Yeah, Frisk, why don't you fly? Hmm, flying sounds a little dangerous. But they can fly. Oh, with that attitude. Oh, I was hoping they would actually give me a building. Not that it would matter. See how many good friends you've made here? I am almost certain you must have some more. Sorry, I don't know half the time to talk. I'm sp okay. Might as well cycle through all their tests. It's the last time, right? Okay, so that's done. Chris, take a hike. Hiking is good for your bones. <laughs> hey, Elfies, Elfies. Do you think we can watch something with fighting next? Oh, and then something with princesses? Or fighting princesses? Yeah, I'll see if I can manage to find any, any like that, Undyne. Yay! Hey, Frisk, why don't you go say hi to Naps the Bluke? Oh, and tell him I said hi too. I did that, kind of. I didn't tell him she said hi, but I don't, I don't think that would have changed anything. Oh, on second thought, maybe I won't write fanfic of real people. I mean, isn't real life already the greatest fanfiction of all? Mm, uh, don't tell him I said that, because I'm going to post it online. <laughs> so I'm excited to finally use the human internet, but they have all sorts of things on Dying and I could watch. Oh, man! We're going to be able to watch anime online? Of course, I'm dying. What do you think we've been fighting for all long? <laughs> yeah, what do you... Oops. <laughs> Jinx, I knew you were going to make that joke. Wait, Alfies, I don't know. I didn't know you knew Sans. Well, I... Doesn't everybody? Who the hell is Sans? Wait, what? Who the heck is Sans? Toriyo? What just happened? Hey, Frisk, why don't you go look for Metaton? He was here for a while, too, but he said he had to go somewhere. <laughs> cool. Frisk, I just realized. Now that we are fighting each other, I can finally ask you, would you like a cup of tea? Uh, would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> Duh. Oh, well, actually, the cup I had is cold now, so you shouldn't have it. I am so happy to see you said yes. As soon as I can, I'll make some more for you. And you're gonna be great pals. Oh, Frisk, if you're not busy, on nice days, you should walk around, have a good time. That's important. Okay, there we go, you guys. Pretty much talk to everybody. Time to end the game. If you leave here, your adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out of the undergrounds. I'm ready. I'm satisfied, you guys. Hey, there's the Mount Bot right there. Or maybe we're on it, I don't know. Oh my. Isn't it beautiful, everyone? Wow, it's, it's even better than on TV. Way better. Better than I ever imagined. Frisk. You live like with this? The sun is so nice, and the air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey, Sans. What's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friends. That's the sun? Wowie. I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun. I can stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we really should think about what comes next. All right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new future, an era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk, I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? No, I'm just kidding, obviously, jeez. Yeah, Frisk will be the best ambassador. And I, the Great Papyrus, will be the best mascot. <laughs> I'll make a good first impression. No, for, no! Well... Someone's got to keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. What? Why'd he go the other way? Man, do I, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait! Oh, I see. He refuses to work. Hey, I'm dying, wait! Whoops. Why whoops? 
Uh, should I do something? <laughs> well, gotta go. <laughs> Seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Frisk, you, you came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will, what will you do now? Uh, I want to stay with you. Ah, of course, I want to stay with her. What? Frisk, you really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It is a good thing that you took so long to change your mind. <laughs> well, I suppose, if you really do not have any other place to go, I do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. Alright, now, come along. Everyone's waiting for us. Aww. Is that it? Undertale cast the true ending. Holy crap, you guys. What a beautiful game. This is actually a much, much, much longer. I totally thought Froggit said faggot for a second. I was like, what? Excuse me? <laughs> okay, professional frog. Braver every day. Foreign bully. Backup dancer. By Toby and Teddy. Popular nutritionist. So Tammy was actually a team member, one of the artists, I guess. Casually enjoys life. <gasps> oh! Spooky DJ. <laughs> oh, you got a hat. I never understood the hat joke. Oh, there's more. Peppers. Hey, there's the duck. We never got to tell either. Sands by Toby. Toby and Tammy. Oh, uh, so happy. I, th I think I might have seen this actually. This looks very familiar. I might have seen this out of context though. Eh, it doesn't matter. It was maybe kind of technically spoiled to me, but whatever. Semi successful comedian thinking about its hat. Some of the names are yellow and some aren't. Doggo has his own seeing eye dog Christmas display. Dogami and Dogessa by Toby. Finally, number one nose nuzzle champions. Adorable. Lesser dog. Temmy! Excited by life's changes, <laughs> searching for affection. Maybe the yellow means we successfully, like, did everything properly with it? <gasps> Onion sand came out! Oh, I'm so happy! Aww. Diane and Elfie's fine. Alright, by Temmie, reluctantly. <laughs> Still flexing. Idyllic life on the beach. Temmy, Temmy, Temmy! <laughs> <laughs> Which are inspired by Omocat, legendary janitor, Mad Tommy. Uh, calm down just a bit, taking piano lessons again. Oh, who's missing? Is it me? <gasps> Metaton! By Toby. Oh, hey, it's the bigger guy. Such thanks, Bob Sparker, Sarah. <gasps> he got legs! Wait, I'm confused. Metaton has a body now, why is he in that body? Vulcan, Sunderplane, yeah, we did that one wrong. Encouraging Space Heater, new student at school. Sunderplane, I didn't see. Do the game grumps, how to beat that guy. Hi, Rope. And Muffet. Spider successes with a new bakery. Uh, candle on the world's largest birthday cake. <laughs> Royal Guards. Use your imagination. <laughs> Final Froggets. Giving life its own meaning. Long battle finally ending. So, yeah, I'm pretty convinced that the yellow means we spared them properly. Um, dominating glasses seller. Street magician magic. Night night. Taking a well deserved nap. <laughs> I'm Wilgamats. Living with their families, thinking about sticks. Those things are pretty spoopy, alright. Ah, oh, Asgore by Toby. Monster Kid by Magnolia Porter. I like the Monster Kid. Guys, make it a papyrus. <gasps> she finally got her school. Aww. And now it's in color instead of black and white. 
And now it's a black oil. Or sepia, I guess, technically. The ends. Wow, what a fantastic game. I completely understand the hype of this game. 100%. Uh-oh. Wowie. <laughs> Did you really think it was over? Just kidding? I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Ready? Let's end all of this for good. Special thanks. Oh, snappers. Spare everybody! Spare all the people! Ah, ah, oh, man, this game is so great. Ah. Oh, get them all. I'm winning, right? I think I am. <laughs> I can't eat any of this. Good lord. Good lord. We can... Asriel. Oh my god. Ah, that actually really hurts my eyes. Oh god. Oh god. I feel like I saw onion sand in there somewhere, which is weird. I guess this is maybe... Maybe this guy had like a uh, Kickstarter page or something. Is that what this is? Maybe. These are all the names that people donated. Holy crap, that's a long name. Good lord. Good lloyd. I guess the bigger name, the more they donated or something. Or maybe just, you know, the shorter the name, the bigger the name. Yeah, that seems more accurate. Bam! Yellow all the wheels! Spare all the people! Let me stay still. No, they just suck at aiming. <laughs> well, some of them do. If you move up and down a little bit, it helps. Nothing that matters. All this matters. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, beautiful yellow. Beautiful yellow. Yeah! Is that it? Oh god, touch credits. Okay. Okay, wait, can we scroll down? No. Whee! Thanks to friends and family for supporting us and Undertale team. Thanks to you, the player, from the bottom of our hearts. Without you all, this would be impossible. Good night. Aww. There's something in the background. It's ringing. It sounds like footsteps or something. Uh-oh. Aww. She's bringing us pie again. That looks a lot like a cowboy hat, or like a safari hat. I guess a safari hat is much more accurate. Aww. Undertale. The end. Wow, you guys. Hey, it's the piano from the... The Shrin. I don't know if this is gonna have anything else here. Wow, what a great... Oh, man, I can't get over how good this game was, you guys. It, it's wow. Just wow. If you guys enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. If there's any more games, I love games like this. Like, heavily story-driven games, emotional games like this. They're the best. You're just the best. Any more games like this, especially like games like this. If you want to see me play, oh, it's a Bobby. Feel free to suggest them either in even the comments down here, or uh, check out the top link in my description. It leads you to a video where you can leave suggestions. The happiest puppy in the world. I don't know if this is ever. If anything ever changes here. You know, I hate when things do this. It's like, oh, there's nothing here. And then, then a little thing happens. It's like, well, no, I have to wait longer because what if something else happens? All right, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna leave this on the screen for now. This, this is probably the end. But uh, in case anything happens, I'll leave it, leave it recording a little bit longer. Oh, yeah, the, the music just reset. Okay, it's done. It's done. I know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.